they, not, they didn't ask your promoter. They asked you, what do you want to do as a fighter? What do Earlier you than I realized. I didn't know that that's what it for the Ghost LOX D Block. You just got your backstage. You just got your backstage pants. Parker from 112, y'all, and this going on right Everybody here, man, Backstage Pass. Right now, you are checking out Backstage Pass, the Hi show. Hi, guys, this is Amelia Johnson, and today I'm going to be your host for the Backstage Pass show, and we're going to be interviewing Kevin Hart, one of the funniest comedians of our era, and I want you to come along and take this journey with me and have a lot of laughs, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Bye. Your girl Amelia Johnson here with your boy Kevin Hart, and we're going to be picking his brain and asking him a billion questions. <laughs> so, Kevin, what's yes. up? Yes, million questions starting right now. <laughs> Number one, get it. Okay. <laughs> Segway. Segway. Um, Let me get right into it. I don't give you a chance to do what you prepared. No, jump into <laughs> it. What do you know? I want to know where you're from. I'm from all. Philadelphia, PA. Home of the drug lords and pimps, where the killers lay. That's what I am. It's how it is by my V-neck. <laughs> I would love to be a thug. I swear I wish I could be a thug. I don't have it in me. Like, I don't have those thug qualities in me. I was like, hey. Who inspired you when you were younger? Uh, who inspired me when I was younger? Um, you know, my mom. And I was supposed to say, like, a famous person. Yeah, I was about to say. No, 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 hold on. Harry, stop clicking the joystick while we do the thing! That's Jim. Jesus! Sorry. Uh, my my mom, man. The reason why my mom was a strong woman, independent by herself, but uh, uh, basically taught me the, the the values of life and you know made me appreciate hard work. And I can say I got that from my mom because my mom was hard work. So what made you choose comedy as your? There was nothing else, sweetie. Oh. Yeah, I didn't have an option number two. Okay, it was either comedy or slinging dope. Okay, I chose comedy. I just told you I'm from the land where the killers and drug lords meet. Girl, right. I was a knucklehead. Okay? Oh, you were bad. In and out of jail right. as, a, as a young child. Juvenile centers. Spelled my name on bunk beds. Okay? In and out of the system. That's what I called it when I was 15. The system trying to trying to hold the young man down. I didn't let him hold me down, though. I slang that, I slang that crack rock and got out of the system. I didn't do any of this, but I, I heard of I heard a younger guy say that in an interview. I was actually talking to this thug dude. I was in D.C. not too long ago, right? And I talked to this guy. We might have talked for about 15 minutes. I swear to you, I don't know what we were talking about. But he was so passionate about the stuff that he was saying. That's the only reason why I stayed there to listen. It's exactly what he said. It's not even a joke. This is exactly how he was talking to me. He's like, you know what I mean? I'm talking to the dude, right, man? And we talking. He's talking about whoop, 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 whoop. Right? Right? So I'm like, ah, right? You know what I mean? They come to me, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They get that, you know what I'm saying? Flip that, press that, ah, 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 ah. everybody get money, ah, ah, burger, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking shit, you know what I mean? Talking dip, lock, dip, nigga, you know what I mean? Come to me, I'm like, ah, right? Right? They told me everything, you know what I'm saying? He came back, I'm like, ah, rah, rah. I looked up, he was dead. I said, whoa, what? Wait, wait a second. Back up, back, who, well, who killed him? Whoop, whoop, what? I was so confused, I thought I was a witness. I said, did I see this? Was I there? I, I don't want to be a part of it, is what I'm saying. If you did it. No, man, uh, I chose comedy because I, I fell in love with it. You know, uh, I was working at City Sports Philadelphia Shoe Store. A friend of mine said, Kevin, you funny, you should try and get on stage. I said, what? He said, do it. I said, when? He said, now. I said, okay. Then, mm -hmm. I said, you know, we put that together. Whoop, whop, whip. You know what I'm saying? After we put that together, we made it happen. Pick it up, boop. Ooh, right. Got on stage and fell in love with the whole process of stand up. Then 12 years later, I'm where I'm at now. Question number three. Right. Get it. Oh, wow. In competition. Uh, my joke, oh, it's like the best joke ever when I first started. I had to talk about a midget. Carl Sad midget. And I was like, uh, I was confused because I didn't know who the midget was rocking. I was like, give me your money, man. I said, who are you talking to, Mr. Midget? And he was like, who am I looking at? I said, well, that's where the question came from. Cause I thought you were talking to the guy across the street. He said, no, I'm talking to you, bitch. You see me looking at you, don't I? And I said, that's why we keep getting confused. 
because I don't know your eyes are <laughs> going to the right. It was like, it was a bad trip. It was my first trip. Right. That was competition. And when I got a laugh at it, I was like, holy shit. Wow. People laugh at things that sex is funny. That's what I'm going to do. Pop. I got to do this. And I said, this is what I'm about to do the rest of my life. And I fell in love with it. Then I did amateur night competitions. One, I was getting like $75 for winning. And I won like six of them. So I was like, I keep doing these. I can pay my rent. Right. I don't need no job. So I quit. Then it stopped the amateur night competition. Wow. Yeah, so you quit the shoe? Yeah, I quit all that. But I was kind of hands up and had no money. Went to my mom, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Asked my mom for that loan. That's usually what happens. Pretty much. <laughs> I also wanted to know, um, what was your uh, most fun time on set? Any movie? Take one, choose one. What was my first time set? First time? Or the, the most fun most time that I've ever had. Right. Uh, like you love the crew, you love the energy. Uh, I would say... Soul playing, you know, uh, doing soul playing was a good time for me. Why I got to work with a lot of people. Uh, Snoop, you know, Method Man, John Witherspoon, Meek, D.L. Hughley, Tom Warren, the list goes on. That's people the cast is great. But uh, I was young, I was 23, so, you know, for me to be on set and be a part of the cast that big was a big deal to me. And uh, not only was it a big deal, it was a good time. I learned and I had fun while I was working. I learned to appreciate acting, you know, because a lot of people complain, you know, we wait around, but you know, you're getting paid to sit, you're getting paid to wait. So when I saw people like Snoop and I could play, you know, people like Monique sitting down, just relaxing, and I was like, wow, these people are in love with their job, in love with their life. And so I, I can only follow suit and be the same. Right, okay, very good. I'm a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you have coming out? What's new? Yeah, I was gonna say what's next, the thing. What's next? Yeah. Okay. Well, I got a couple. Death and a few. That'll be out in April. Yay for me. That's what I'm Chris Rock, Martin Lawrence, Tracy Morgan. Uh, what else? Uh, Little Fockers. That's what uh, Ben Stiller and Robert De Niro. Oh, okay. Is this a spin off from Meet the Fockers? Mm-hmm. It's oh. a sequel. Three. Well, right. Uh, that'll be out <laughs> probably around September. I'm about to do my next hour special called Seriously Funny. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, face it, eBay, uh, on tour with Live Nation right now, so I'm working, I'm always busy, I'm trying to stay busy, got kids right. to feed. Yeah. How can we reach out to your fans, how can they reach out to you? Facebook oh, regular page, oh, Kevin sir. Hart, <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> at Kevin Hart, the number four real, Kevin Hart four real, my website, K. HeartOnline.com, K H A R T Online.com. Uh, you know, the stuff on the basis. I actually have a YouTube page, Kevin Hart. A whole bunch of stuff will pop up as well. You stream. Uh, I live. I basically give live feeds. It's a. Uh, uh, was it Kevin Hart uh, TV? Harry? Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, Hart Kevin Hart TV. Kevin Hart TV. On Ustream. You get it from time to time right there. Um, pretty much other than that, I, I, if you want, I also. Play NBA 2K10 uh, a lot. Are you good at it? Uh, the game? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I'm not good. I am great. Oh. It's a difference. I think the G. You're sort of like the best. No, no, I'm definitely, I'm definitely like in the top two. Actually, if you go online, there's clips of me beating people online and taking tons of money from people. Um, the guy, a friend of mine, Jimmy Martinez, plays. And he said, Kevin, do you play the game? I said, yeah, but I'm not going to play because. You probably take it, I take it a lot more seriously than you do. He's like, no, 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 we should play. I said, no, I don't think you understand. I just think it's a waste of time for me to play. He said, no, come on, let's do it. And uh, he played me, and I beat him back. And, um, you know, we haven't really spoken since. And then, Aww. bow, in your face. Drop it. Snap on it. Boop, boop. Dun, dun. Yo, I'm Kevin Hart, and you just got your backstage oh, yeah, pass yeah, man, with me here at the hotel. <laughs>